In this video, we're going to look at combine functions using algebraic operations. You can see that we have uh, f minus g of negative 2. So what we're doing here is we're subtracting the f function and the g function, and then we're inputting negative 2. How I would do this problem is I would kind of do the general version of this. So I would say f um, minus g of x is equal to, and I like to uh, rewrite this as f of x minus g of x, because that's what this is implying that we have these two functions being subtracted with an input of x, so we can write them separately like so. And then we can just plug in negative x squared minus x for f of x, and we are subtracting the g of x function, which is 4x plus 3. So we end up with negative x squared minus x. We're going to distribute that negative to each term. That's negative 4x minus 3. So we get negative x squared minus 5x minus 3. This is the general equation for what f minus g of x is equal to. But they're asking in the problem for this negative 2 as an input. So we're going to now input that. So we say f minus g of negative 2 is equal to negative negative 2 squared minus 5 times negative 2 minus 3. That'll be negative 2 squared is 4. So I have negative 4 plus 10 minus 3 is going to equal to, or is going to be equal to negative 7 plus 10, which is 3. So when you take f minus g of negative 2, you get 3 for your, for your solution there. Now, why did I go through this route? Is there an easier route to do this? Could I have just started plugging negative 2 in for the g function and for the f function and combine them together that way? Yes, probably. But if I find this equation first, I can now just find any f minus g function for any value of x. A lot of problems will ask you more than just like to evaluate negative 2. They might ask you to evaluate 10 and 5 and 7. If you have this equation, it makes it easier to do multiple of these. 